Do you have a good imagination? Dream about going on strange adventures and being a hero or even a villain? Then the Fantasy Role Playing Club is for you. Meetings are every Wednesday at 3.45 p.m. in room 918. Seniors, if you have applied to any college, you must come speak with a counselor to send your transcript. There is a brand new process for sending transcripts, so please come to the counseling suite if you've submitted any college applications. Mark your calendars. Apply to College Week will take place November 18th through November 22nd. During this week, there will be a college and military fair held in the cafeteria on Thursday, November 21st from 6 to 8 o'clock. The week will conclude with Apply to College Day in the Media Center. Come to the Counseling Suite for more information. And please do not forget to fill out those free and reduced lunch applications if you have not already done so. Hi everyone, I'm Jill Bristow, your PBIS team leader. I'm Denise Milton, your PBIS coach. We're here to remind you about the red cardinal tickets. Tickets are given to students for soaring behavior, so it could be a couple of different things, like volunteering to help clean up your classroom. It could be reading aloud in class, or helping out with something, or really any behavior that you think is supportive, open-minded, accountable, and respectful. Once you hand these out to students, they can turn it in for different things. Like they can get a pencil, a bag of chips, a gift card to Chick-fil-A, Dave & Buster's, a t-shirt. There are posters located around the school and I also sent a reminder via email. So don't forget to give out those tickets. Georgia Southern University is waiving all application fees for the month of November, so please apply. Attention, French Honor Society members. Please pay your dues by November 13th. Also, don't forget our next meeting on November 14th from 4 to 6 in A2. Art Club, you meet in room 828 with Ms. Himmelgarn on Wednesday from 3 to 5.30. The total of senior dues is $75, including two senior shirts, a senior picnic in March, a senior breakfast in May, and graduation practice rentals. Want to design the next senior t-shirt? We are now accepting submissions in D10. It must be on white paper and outlined in black with or without color. Osborne High Empty Bowl event will be November 21st and 22nd. Join us in the cafeteria next week for our Empty Bowl event. These bowls have been created by our own talented Osborne High Arts students and benefit our school's food bank. Join us in making a difference for hunger and homelessness awareness this week. Bowls range from $5 to $10. Gerald TC Battalion announcements are as follows. Academic teams meet Mondays and Thursdays, 3.30 through 4.30. Drill team meet Monday through Thursday, 3.30 through 5.30. Competition color guard meet Wednesdays, 3.30 through 5.30. Varsity rifle team meets Mondays through Thursdays, 3.30 through 5.30. Track conditioning will be every Monday and Wednesday from 3.45 to 4.30. Meet in the weight room. If you have any questions, see Coach Cobb or Coach Moore. Senior, schedule your senior pictures at katiestudios.com. They're needed in order to submit your senior quotes and baby pictures. Yearbooks are now on sale for $55. Make a down payment of 10 to lock the price of your 55 and pay off the rest throughout the rest of the school year. Order online at yearbookordercenter.com. November 14th, 1940. One of the most devastating bombing raids during World War II. Hundreds of Nazi Germany's warplanes destroy most of the English town of Coventry. 1851. Herman Melville's novel, Moby Dick, the tale about the pursuit of the great white whale is published. 1889. Inspired by author Jules Verne, Nellie Bly sets out to travel around the world in less than 80 days. Bly, a reporter for the New York World, succeeds, making the trip in 72 days. 1943. Leonard Bernstein has come out on the platform and will presently lead the Philharmonic Symphony in our national anthem. Leonard Bernstein makes his conducting debut with the New York Philharmonic. The 25-year-old assistant conductor fills in for the ailing Bruno Walter during a nationally broadcast concert. And 1900. Aaron Copland, one of America's leading composers of the 20th century, is born in New York City. Today in history, November 14th. 
Camille Bohannon, The Associated Press.